So Mark, why don't you tell us a, a little bit about uh, this uh, winter wheat field that we're standing in. This wheat, uh, this wheat was planted the last of October. Uh, ground was worked so there was no fall burn down done to it whatsoever. Uh, here in about another month, month and a half, we'll come in and we'll spray it post-emerge uh, to control the weeds. And uh, the weed species we'll be dealing with in this field are henbit and chickweed. Uh, and that's where we'll be using products like Culex. So Luke, tell us about Culex. Yeah, Culex has been a great fit for us here in, um, in the south uh, in our winter wheat crop, a uh, double crop into soybeans. Uh, what we really like about it is that it's a brand new active ingredient that we have uh, in Culex with the Aerolex active. It's extremely effective on the winter annual weeds that, that we deal with here in the south, uh, like henbit, mare's tail, and even ALS resistant chickweed. So we've been having a more bigger chickweed issue, um, and most of that's ALS resistant. So this gives us a new product that we can use uh, that has uh, activity on that ALS resistant chickweed. So Luke, is there uh, are there any any other uh, products that we need to add to? Culex to help it perform or to help control other weeds we might be dealing with? Sure, Mark. It really depends on some of the, the, the weeds that we have trouble with. Um, if we have trouble with garlic, we may want to add harmony into that mix as well. Um, but but Culex is a very effective standalone product as well. What about adjuvants? Are there any particular adjuvants that we need to be uh, making sure that we use uh, to get proper weed control? Yeah, whenever, we, uh, when, whenever we're tank mixing, we always want to look and see what products that we are tank mixing with before we commit to a, an adjuvant decision. Um, but whenever we're running QLEX alone, uh, we're pretty flexible on our adjuvant options. Um, I like a crop hole or an NIS or non ionic surfactant in that load as well. So Luke, uh, tell us again why, uh, why QLEX has been so uh, receptive into the, to the wheat market. One of the reasons I believe that this has been a really successful product that we've had in our marketplace is that we were looking for something new. ALS resistant chickweed was coming up and our, it targets our key uh, winter annual weeds that we have, like mare's tail, embit, and chickweed. Another thing is the flexibility that it has to, uh, to use. The past few springs it's been extremely wet um, during our application timing for wheat herbicides and the flexibility that it has uh, to our nitrogen applications, um, the, the flexibility from two leaf to flag leaf, um, as far as a window of application that we can use, and its quality of control. All of those three things come together when we have compressed springs to be able to spray uh, our herbicide applications have really made Culex a big hit in, in our market. Well, thank you very much. Yep, thanks Mark. So Luke, we're actually in the wheat field again, and uh, we wanted to give some examples of the broadleaf weeds you were talking about that we get good control out of. All three of these weeds can be found in most wheat fields across many states. Uh, one thing I would like to, to add in is, is when you spray Culex, keep in mind it is a very slow working active. So don't expect to go out in about seven days and see these weeds dead. Come back in about 14 to 20 days and you'll see them when they're black and brown and burn up. Thank you.